least favorite part about modeling being put in the wrong size shoes oh my god on yeah. every runway they do that on purpose for <laughs> no, sure i know it's yeah. horrible i've got some big feet you know? <laughs> <laughs> hi my name is ty warner i do modeling and acting and i also do a little bartending and stuff on the side it's very fun so i started when i was like 17 doing uh like runway and stuff more runway in italy and New York, but well, while I'm here in California, I do a bit more commercial and print work and stuff like that. Sorry, y'all, I'm a little nervous. This is my first time going on a date in a long time, oh, with five people, but <laughs> y'all look great. Good. Yeah, tell me, tell me a red flag that, that you guys don't like and then a red flag you do like. My red flag that I need to avoid yeah. is over texting. I feel like when they spam my phone a lot, I get yeah. I just, I can't do that. No, yeah, <laughs> I'm not absolutely. good at replying too fast. I guess I like a little bit of jealousy, but not too much. All right, that's always fun. <laughs> a girl's got to get her thing going, you know? Yeah. <laughs> a red flag that I like, I guess this is kind of like a superficial red flag, but like uh, nose piercings, I don't know. Like, <laughs> no, I, can I like see guys it. with nose piercings and sometimes they have, you know, I haven't had the best experiences with them, but I love a good nose piercing. <laughs> and then a red flag that I don't like. Honestly, I don't like it when guys are too friendly sometimes. He's gonna be mean to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of with you, Monica, on like the superficial one. I like someone that looks like they might ruin my life. Okay, you know, okay. like maybe a neck tat. There are three, Ooh. you know? Or three. Uh, I'm okay with it. Yeah, I don't like someone who doesn't respect my boundaries or space um, because I definitely get energy by being alone. So someone who doesn't allow me that independence um, is definitely a red flag for me. This is probably a little toxic of me, but I kind of like the chase. Okay, absolutely. Um, a red flag that I don't like, gaslighting. Yeah. <laughs> like I just, in my most recent previous relationship, there was like a good amount of it and it was hard to tell. And then afterwards I was like, wait a dang minute. Okay, we're just, we're not gonna do that. No one likes that one. <laughs> right. I like a lot of tattoos. Um, that's, yeah, it's just, I don't know what I like. And then something that I don't like is somebody who's very like close-minded and not open to trying new things. Cause I'm a very experimental person and I like to like experience new stuff. And I can't really grow if you don't want to do that too. So yeah. Okay, yeah, I like cool. that. Good start. Got a bunch of tattoos, a little bit of ruin, ruin the life a little bit. I like it. Let's go. Okay, I can do a little bit of both. How many tattoos do you have? I actually have three, and they're all right here. I don't know if y'all can. We can't see you. Just in case, I didn't know, you know. <laughs> but they're they're on my hip. Okay. Yeah, oh. yeah. I have a centipede that, <laughs> and they kind of go up my ribs a little bit. Right. Yeah, can... I actually want to know your least favorite part about modeling first, because I feel like that that one's a bit easier than than like a favorite part. Being put in the wrong size shoes. Oh my god! Yeah. On every runway, That's I've never had the right size shoes. <laughs> they do that on purpose, for no, sure. No, I know it's yeah. horrible. I've got some big feet. You know? <laughs> <laughs> the best part is I get to meet like all these amazing women in my job, and you know you're probably really cute too. So. <laughs> <laughs> my least favorite part about modeling is just kind of like the whole casting process, and when yeah. you don't get a job and you just get completely ghosted and yeah. you don't hear any feedback, you don't know how you can improve, how you could have done better. And then my favorite thing about modeling, last week I was doing an athletic shoot and we were working out the whole day, but it was just so fun and we we're looking cute doing it. You know, the rejections, the highs, the lows, and like, especially in the beginning when you're trying to like network and everything and you know, get your feet off the ground, it challenges a lot of different parts of you because it is more of like a superficial profession. I love when we get to have a little bit more of like a creative set and we get to, you know, put forth like a vision and indulge in the creative process. The creative side of modeling, very fun. Yeah. Yeah. Having to be flexible constantly and when you're on hold for a job, you don't know if you're gonna get it or if you get booked the day before, you're like, whoa. Um, but my favorite part, we really have each other's backs at the end of the day because especially being in such a, I don't wanna even say difficult field. I think it's just not one that many get to experience. So when you meet people who can relate, you're like, okay, yeah, you you just get me. My least favorite thing too is probably like the rejection, I guess. Like sometimes like if you're not in the right headspace, it could like get to you. My most favorite part is like having like really like deep conversations like with people you thought you would never talk to and just like 
10 hour set days and you just like have nothing else to do but talk to each other you learn a lot mm -hmm. <laughs> about somebody and you make really cool friends and yeah. yeah i agree all those are great ones the shoe one was so real <laughs> oh my god that was so real it's a, a lot harder to be a girl model too like guys it's we just kind of show up and they're like yeah can you take your shirt off <laughs> and, and, and smile i'm like oh, okay yeah sure no problem I've made up my mind. Now, I didn't have much to work with on finding things that I didn't like, so um, uh, I'm gonna eliminate Teal. <laughs> I'm sorry, Teal, but you know, I can get behind the being mean thing a little bit, but I don't wanna ruin anyone's life. Aww. Not too bad, you oh. know? <laughs> oh my God. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Doing very well, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. <laughs> Alrighty, um, first question. What is an ideal place that you could go for a date? And a fun place, not like a movie or something, but some, something that you'd like to do. I play volleyball. I probably want to have like a little beach volleyball session or Absolutely. maybe surfing. I love to surf as well. So probably like an active date. Maybe a hike would also be fun. Something that me and my friends like to do all the time is sing karaoke. And That's I feel so like fun. if we go somewhere and like you can sing karaoke like on a first date, like I feel like we really have to like vibe and like I, I can learn about a lot about you. Like I can see what type of song you want to sing. Like just being able to like have fun and let your guard down. Just go um, for it. I think that would be that would be fun. Like yeah. just drinks and karaoke, like that's a great time for me. First, I have to say I feel you on the movie thing because you can't get to know anybody while watching the movie. I feel yeah. like that's like a fourth, fifth day type of situation. Yeah, I, agree. I was pondering this the other day and I'm like, hmm, axe throwing sounds fun. <laughs> like That'd be kind of scary if I was good at it though. <laughs> that, yes, you know, that just, yeah. just a tad. I'm a really big kid and I really like Disney, so I think Disneyland is just like such a cute and like wholesome date and like we could like like go on roller coasters together. I could like see if you're a wimp or not. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I like it. I like that though. <laughs> you gotta test the waters, you know. You gotta make sure he's not a wimp. Yeah, that's right, exactly. <laughs> funny. Do you think there are any misconceptions for models, like women modeling? People think I'm like a dumb blonde, which is definitely not the case. I'm studying civil engineering right now, and definitely when it comes to guys, like it's almost like a trophy or like, oh my gosh, like I could date a model. It's just so they can go back and talk to their friends about it. So it's not the best feeling in the world. <laughs> I feel like people a lot, a lot. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm nervous. Sorry, Ty. No, I'm me too. getting a little me too. nervous. Um, yeah, I feel like a lot of times people don't think that models have personalities or like other interests, yeah. like that we just like to get up and take pictures every day. But like I have, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Like I have other interests. Like I have other jobs too. Like yeah. I don't only model. I think people look at me like a box of rocks most days. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever I tell people I'm a model, I think they look at me up and down, thinking you because I'm on the curve slash plus side. So they don't think that I'm like your typical model, which. I mean, understandable, but I don't think they realize the industry is constantly changing. And I also think, you know, did I leave school and I used to be a nursing major? Yes, but I also have my associate's degrees. I have a few and I, actually, I don't remember what they are. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been at school. Yeah, I agree with what, what they said too about like the, the whole like trophy, like girl thing, like that, it makes it really hard to like make serious, not serious connections. Yeah, like genuine connections. They judge you by like like your job and like the clothes that you are put in, yeah. and that's like not who I am at all. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't tell people I model sometimes, you know what I mean? It's a big one that I say is I do construction. You know what I mean? When they first meet me, if I'm talking to a girl seriously, because I've told them I'm a model, and they're like, wow, yeah. Why the hell did you tell me that? Is, is like kind of the, I don't know, it's, it doesn't work out for me too well. The intelligence of the conversation just goes kind of out the door. They're like, oh, okay. Yeah, they start <laughs> speaking to you like you're a kid sometimes. Sharon, number three. Hi. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Well, how nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You look so too. good. You too? I don't know if you have. I do. <laughs> I'm a big fan of spending time together. That's my love language. So I was wondering what your love language is and how you show your love. Like what would we do as a date? Like your perfect love language date. Sorry, I'm nervous. Yeah, I like that, a little two for one question. My love language, I feel like is honestly very much so quality time as well. Um, like a date that I would do for my perfect date, I, was, I would have like three or four dates in one. Like, I hope um, you don't meet multiple girls because I'm not doing no, that no, again. No, no. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> no, no, no. Like first thing that come to my mind, like when you said beach, like I love the beach. I'd love to go like a morning surf sesh into like a nice lunch, and then we go to, like Dave and Buster's or something afterwards. You know, just like uh, make it a whole day. Aww. Yeah. Okay, cool. We'll do it. <laughs> So I want to pose a question that you asked us earlier. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the red flag question you said, what is a red flag that you like and a red flag that you don't like? Like y'all said, you don't like someone super friendly. I really don't like someone super friendly either. Now to me, I like when they're friendly, but I mean to like, let's say we were, we were out doing something and I wasn't around to like say, hey, you know, this is this person I'm seeing, like go away. Yeah. Would you be friendly and still talk to them or would you? send them away and be like, no, I'm here with someone. You can be a little mean to me too, I can handle it. I like a little <laughs> shit talk. Shit talk is fun, even though I prefer not to, but like a red flag for me is like uh, ignoring. I don't like to blow people's phone up or anything too, you know what I mean? But if there's a problem, I'd rather we just work something out rather than just ignore each other and see who's gonna last longer with ignoring each other. Like a, you know what I mean? Like a quiet game, I don't like doing those. That was the first one that came to my head. I totally feel that communication is so important in relationships. It's like the most important thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's something valuable, valuable that you learned in your past relationship? What I learned was the, the space. As someone who likes quality time a lot, space is so um, necessary. Like having individuality is very important. Yeah, you need to have your own life like 100%. outside. What is y'all's favorite food? Sushi. 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 There we go. <laughs> first thing that came to my mind was Thai food. Love Thai food. And I can also cook Thai food. I'm like a quarter Thai. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't feel like I look Asian though, but somehow I am. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like? to happen in the next five years? That's a better one. What do you envision? Well, in five years, I just, I hope I've done a lot of traveling. That's my main goal. I wanna see everything and I wanna go everywhere. Okay. I feel like something I always hear, since I started modeling later in life, everyone's always been like, you can't model forever. Like, I really want to be able to. But like, I also like really love social media and like content and like editing videos. And like, I feel like I want to eventually like pivot into that. That's like one of my passions. Hopefully get a house. Absolutely. Um, settle down, find my person, fall in love start a family, I want all of those things. I mean, I don't know if within the next five years, but I mean, I want to start working towards that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I feel like I'm really good at marketing and all that stuff, so I see myself kind of um, getting into like behind the scenes too and like helping other like influencers and people like, like reach their goals and manage them and stuff like that. Amazing, I love it. I'm gonna eliminate Angel. Oh hey Angel, God. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey. I like your tattoo. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Should we hold hands? <laughs> Should we? This is a tough one. <laughs> um, I'm going to eliminate Meredith. <laughs> oh my God. Hi, hey, Meredith. So nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> you were so lovely. <laughs> you got a good one. <laughs> I'm feeling good. I'm kind of like a jerk for eliminating people, but here we are. <laughs> Everyone had great traveling and food answers too, but um, I think ours just matched up a bit more. I also like the uh, like the vision that she had too. It was a nice vision. Oh my gosh, I am so nervous. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'll give you a hug. Sorry, I'm a little sick. No, oh, me too. <laughs> your eyes are so beautiful. <laughs> thank you. I love your eyes too. I love oh, your outfit as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Yeah, if we had a first date, uh, based off of your answers and stuff like that too, you know, <laughs> we have to get something dope sushi place for sure. Yeah. Good sushi place. Yes. And then, um, do you like, <laughs> you like roller skating? Sure, yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm better at skating. ice skating, I'm not gonna lie to you. Me too, but actually, yeah. Roller skating is fun and I like it because like you can groove, groove too. Groove, exactly. You can dance to it. Yeah. You can have fun with it. So sushi and roller skating? Sounds not like too a bad, plan right? to me. It sounds fun. Yeah. <laughs>